Will Martin and I will be discussing why Americans need to gear towards a vegan lifestyle. Um, if all the grain currently fed to livestock in the United States were consumed directly by people, the number of people who could be fed would be nearly 800 million. Um, there are numerous health benefits, a decrease in chance of obesity and diabetes, which are huge problems in the US, and heart disease and cancers. Our bodies are not meant to digest cow milk or products derived from cow milk, so it only does harm to our bodies to consume these products. Um, studies indicate that those who follow a vegan lifestyle live three to six years longer than those who do not. Um, and following a vegan diet also lowers body mass index, which means less fat on our bodies and being at a healthier weight and ultimately disease prevention. Um, there are also numerous environmental benefits. Um, according to the UN, agriculture, particularly meat and dairy products, accounts for 70% of our water supply, 38% of the total land use, and 19% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. So ultimately, we're using over half of our water supply just um, for meat and dairy products. And um, 2,400 gallons of water is used to make one pound of protein. So you could be saving, um, you could save more water by not eating a pound of protein than you would by not showering for six months. And growing plants takes fewer resources than growing animals does. And it takes 11 times as much fossil fuel to make one calorie from animal protein as it does to make one calorie from plant protein. Not living a vegan lifestyle will eventually result in fuel poverty. Um, the runoff from factory farms pollutes our waterways more than all other industrial sources combined. And following a vegan diet would also help put an end to world hunger. Um, as, the, as we all know, the population keeps increasing. And according to the Cornell Chronicle, by the year 2050, there will be about 9.1 billion people, and diets rich in meat and dairy products will soon be unsustainable. So people will eventually have no choice but to follow a plant-based diet because we will have used all our resources. And it takes up to 13 pounds of grain to produce one pound of meat, which could be used to feed people all over the world. And even fish on farms must be fed up to five pounds of wild caught fish to produce one pound of farmed fish flesh. Um, many people in underdeveloped countries will go hungry while the food that they could be eating is given to animals raised for slaughter. Thank you. Vendela, I know that you didn't get as much opportunity to look over the comments that I made as you might might have uh, found useful because uh, a lot I I remember a lot of the things that I put in the outline will be th things that I'm going to be saying now. Uh, you have you have it. You guys, there's a lot of background noise, and I'm sorry. I I, I am not the multitasker that you all think you are. I can do one thing at a time, and right now I'm trying to pay attention to what I'm saying to her. So when these other noises go on, it's very distracting to me. So would you kind of hold it down, please, and not speak while I'm talking? Thank you. All right. Um, so the uh,
topic area is fine. What I think you need to do is, is refine the claim to say that there would be uh, substantial benefits to humankind or to the planet from following a vegan lifestyle. If you say we should do this, that becomes a policy claim. That's not what the assignment is, so we don't want that. And when you say, I want to talk to you about why we should do this, then it sounds like an informative speech instead of making an argument. You need a declarative statement that really tells us, here's the position I'm taking. Uh, vegan, vegan lifestyles will, will help solve a substantial number of problems. The first problem that it will solve is the problem of um, resources. You're kind of all over the place. I've got a lot of different, I, I'm hearing about problems with cow's milk, I'm hearing about runoff, I'm hearing about water, I'm hearing about fuel poverty, I'm hearing about starvation. Uh, you just, that stuff needs to be organized in some way. So let's start by saying that the vegan lifestyle is going to improve human health. And it's going to do that first by preventing us from eating the foods that are bad for us which are causing problems for us, but it's also going to encourage us to eat foods that will extend our longevity. We've got a statistic in there that says vegans live average of two to four years longer uh, than uh, people who don't follow a vegan lifestyle. I need to know where that statistic came from. How was that determined? Uh, you know, and I don't get any source citation on that. I'm sure there are other benefits too. There's a lot of stuff that, like, there are a lot of reasons that that might be true. For example, cholesterol creating heart disease or obesity being related to access to like the milk products that you talk about. So some explanation about how that all fits together is needed. And I think you've kind of got the ideas there, but they aren't structured very clearly on that particular point. Then there's an environmental argument that you're making also, and it, you know, some of it addresses the water issue, and then I think that needs to be developed more as well. Now, you do have a lot of statistical information that you present there. Same sort of thing, though. I know that that came from someplace. Where does it come from? You started off with a quote that says, you know, if we took all the grain that we used to feed the animals, you know, that we could feed 800 million people. Well, at the end of your speech, you're saying we could feed everybody on the planet, and that's 9 billion people, so I'm doing you know, just math in my head and saying, well, that doesn't sound right with what you're talking about earlier in the speech. That sounds like they're substantially... So there's, there's some inconsistency in those numbers. What are the num where do the numbers come from? What exactly are they talking about? That needs to be clarified. Uh, the source of starvation in the world, for instance, uh, the notion that it is connected to a lack of food, I think that needs to be documented too because my understanding, and I think you pointed it out, is that there's plenty of food out there, it's just the way it's distributed that is the problem. And does a vegan lifestyle affect the distribution of the food? So for example, if suddenly we had, if we're all just eating grains and, and fruits and vegetables and those kinds of things, are people who are in those places where they are starving any more likely to get access to those grains and fruits and vegetables? I don't know. And that's, that's a, an argument that you're making that you want to be able to prove. And I think you've got the idea there that you introduced, but you're not developing enough support for it on those sorts of things. All right. Thank you.